Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Welcome to Sadaf Flow. I'm Kayla, and this is my dog, Leela. And today we're in the beautiful Henry Cowell State Park in Santa Cruz, California. We're going to be doing a yoga class today on risk taking. So we're going to breathe, sweat, and have some fun. You don't need any special equipment, just you and an open heart, and we'll get started. So today we're going to begin seated. You can either sit cross-legged or if it's comfortable for you, coming onto your knees and sitting kneeling. Sit up nice and tall, roll your shoulders down your back and we'll take a nice full deep breath in, stretch the arms up to the sky. Beautiful. And then exhale, just gather the hands in home, into your heart center. We'll start by opening the shoulders, inhale, sweeping the arms. This time, as you exhale, bringing your right elbow underneath the left. So you can either hug the shoulders in, or if it's comfortable for you, bringing your hands to namaste. Hug the outer hips in towards center, sit up nice and tall, and inhale, lift, curl the heart open. Beautiful, exhale, curl in, round your spine arch your back. Just like that, breathing in, lift up, lift open. Breathing out, curl in, round the spine. Good, last one, breathing in, breathing open, lift the heart, lift the elbows. And exhale, curl in, round the spine. Coming back through center, inhale, untangle the arms, sweep up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Exhale, it's left arm underneath the right. So either taking your shoulders or maybe you're taking namaste. So drawing the legs in towards the midline. Inhale, curl the heart up, lift the elbows. Beautiful. And then exhale, curl in, round the spine. Just like that. Breathing in. And breathing out. Last one, breathing in, lifting the heart, opening up, big breath. Good, exhale, curl in, round the spine. Really nice, back through center, unravel the arms, big sweep up, open to the sky, and exhale, drawing your hands through your heart, and welcome. So we're gonna come forward into hands and knees, finding tabletop. Spreading your fingers nice and wide, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Inhale, drop your belly open through your heart. And exhale, breath, curl in, round your spine. Cat arch the back. We'll just take a couple cat cows here, just moving with the rhythm of your breath. This next time that you inhale, Lift the heart forward, tuck your toes, and we'll send the hips up and back. So coming into downward facing dog here. First down dog of our practice, so you can pedal it out a little bit. Walking out your dog. Maybe letting the hips sway a little side to side. And just noticing what's here, pressing into the palms, breathing into your body, grow tall through the spine, stretching your sit bones up and away from your fingertips. Take a deep breath in, and then full breath out, let it go. We're gonna inhale, come high up onto the balls of the feet, deep breath in. And then open your mouth, big breath out, heels stretch down. <sighs> Draw your chin towards your chest, inhale, roll forward in towards a plank pose, top of a push-up position. 
really nice. And then you're welcome to use your knees or exhale lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Big breath out. Really nice. Inhale, stretch your right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, exhale. Press to the earth. Inhale, stretch up to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, curl in its knee to nose. Breathing in, three-legged dog. Breathing out, curl in, take a big step forward. Rising up, high crescent lunge up to the sky. So we'll inhale, lift the arms up. Really nice. Bending into that front knee, take a nice full breath in. Reach on up. Good, now listen, exhale. We're going to catch the arms, spring forward. Little leap of faith. And then inhale, take a bigger step back than you might think. High crescent lunge, inhale, reach up. Really nice, just like that. Exhale, spring forward, warrior three. Good, inhale. Now step it back, rise on up. Good, last one. Come forward, warrior three. Now pause. Flex through the back foot, get long through the crown. And now listen, inhale, you're gonna rise all the way up. Bring your left knee with you. Good job, reach on up to the sky. We're coming into Eagle Pose. You're gonna wrap the leg around and it's right elbow underneath the left. So again, you might hug the elbow or the shoulders and or you might take the hands sitting down into the hips. Lift the elbows and soften your shoulders. Really nice breathing. And just trying it out, right? Taking a little risk. Good job, you guys. Inhale, reach the arms. Now lift the arms up towards the sky and slow motion, send it back just like we came in. Warrior three. So nice, take a nice full breath, get so long, and then exhale, big step back, high crescent lunge, Woo! reach up to the sky, and exhale, warrior two, open it on up, fear of Vajrasana, so nice. Sit down into your hips, take a nice full breath in, and let it go. Just feel your shoulders soften. Good job. Watch your right hand turn open. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Send it up towards the sky. And exhale, windmill your hands down to the earth, moving through a vinyasa or straight to down dog if you'd rather rest, taking what you need. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and an even longer breath out. Good, inhale, stretch your left leg high to the sky. You're doing great. Exhale, bend the knee, open through your hip. Really nice, inhale, reach it on a big stretch. Exhale, curl in, knee towards your nose. Inhale, breath, three-legged dog. Exhale, breath, curl in. Take a big step through. We're going to rise on up. So coming into high crescent lunge, reaching up to the sky. Good. Reach up through your fingertips. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, trusting yourself, taking that little leap. Exhale, spring forward. And if you wobble, you wiggle, that's all part of it. So good. Inhale, breath, big step back. Good, high crescent lunge. Really nice. Exhale, spring forward. 
Last one. Inhale. Step it back a little further than you might think. Rise up. Exhale. Spring forward. Warrior three. Now feel the strength of your standing leg. And as you next breathe in, drawing the right knee all the way up into your chest. Reach up tall. Bend into your standing leg. Wrap the leg around. And it's left elbow underneath the right. Eagle pose. Garudasana. Good. Sitting down into the hips. Lifting the elbows and just letting your gaze soften, be steady. And it's okay if you fall out. Get right back in. Really nice. Slowly untangling the arms. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Good job, you guys. Exhale, same way we came in. Reversing it. Warrior three, reach the arms back. Get really long with an inhale. And exhale, high crescent lunge. Reach up to the sky. Fill your body up. Really nice. Exhale, warrior two. Opens you up. Mm -hmm. Open the arms. Sit on down. Mm -hmm. Left hand flips. Inhale. Take it up. Take it open. Peaceful warrior. Just this gesture of peace. Right here. Full breath. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Windmill your hands down to the earth through your flow. You might let it linger up dog and just feel the heart open. Good. Downward facing dog. Mm, take a deep breath in. And an even longer <sighs> cleansing breath out. Good. Breathing in. Stretch your right leg high. Breathing out. Bend the knee. Opens the hip. Hands steady. Inhale. Stretch up to the sky. Good. Exhale. Curl in. Take a big step through. Rising up warrior two. So back heel spins in and down. And here we are. Warrior two. Sitting on down into the hips. You can reach out through your fingertips. Feel your heart open. And then keep that. Bring your left hand to your hip. And gazing forward, just about a foot in front of your big toe, or your pinky toe rather, and taking this little, this little leap of faith. So you can do it step by step, or inhale, we're going to spring forward, right hand, again, about a foot and a half in front of your pinky toe, half moon pose. And really trusting the strength of your standing leg. And again, it's those wobbles, it's those wiggles that make us stronger. Flexing the back toes if it feels good. You might take your left arm up to the sky. Really nice, you guys. And then playing with it, you might practice bringing your right hand to your heart. And if you fall out, right, you get right back in. It's all about practice, right? not perfection. Take a nice breath in. Reach on up. Fill the pose. Good. Exhale. Take a big, giant, gentle step back. Warrior two. So nice. Really nice. Find the pose. Find your gaze. Right hand turns open. Take a nice, full breath. Peaceful warrior. Mm -hmm. Exhale, windmill your hands down, come inside your front foot. Lizard pose, so you can walk your right foot out an inch or two to the right. And just take a couple rocks here, forward and back, forward and back. Good. And then lowering the back knee down to the ground. So you can stay here, lift it on your hands if that's feeling good. Or you might lower down to your forearms. Just noticing what feels good for your body. And you can move. You might roll your head, your neck. Mm 
really nice. Walking back up onto your hands, walk your left hand out a little bit wider. Bring your right hand to your knee and turn the chest open towards the right. Good breathing right here, or maybe you might catch the back foot with your right hand and kick on into it. Letting the kick lift your heart. Really nice. One more inhale. And just softening in with your breath out. Good. Slowly with care, release the foot. If you've got it, bring your hands down. Let's step it into plank pose. Take a nice full breath here in your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send it straight back. Good. Now listen. Take a deep breath in. Come high up onto the balls of your feet. And then clearing, open mouth, exhale, stretch the heels down. <sighs> Draw your chin to your chest. Inhale, roll forward into plank pose. And your choice, either, either moving through that vinyasa or rolling right back to down dog. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Really nice. Inhale, almost there. Stretch your left leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, open your hip. Inhale, earth to sky, reach it on up. Good. Exhale, curl in, big step through, rising all the way up, warrior two. Spread your toes, set your feet, and reach on out through your fingertips. Good. Sitting down into your hips. Bring your right hand to your right hip. And gazing forward about a foot, foot and a half of your left toes. And just taking a little spring, right? Trusting yourself as you inhale, spring forward. Right? And you can do it in one step or two or five. Doesn't matter. Good. Good. Trusting the strength of your standing leg. Open. Stack the hips. So rolling that right hip on top of the left. And then if it feels good, maybe taking your right arm up. Good. F breathing. Flex the back toes. Reach through the heel. And if you're wanting a little bit more, maybe you float your left hand to your heart. Taking one more inhale, expand the pose from the inside out with your breath. And then slow motion exhale, take a big step back, warrior two. And we'll reverse it, take a nice inhale. And exhale, hands cartwheel down, come inside your front foot. Lift the back, the back heel. That's it. And then we'll just take a couple rocks here. So hmm, breathing, getting into the hips. Now kind of starting to cool down. You can bring your hands to the earth or maybe lowering down onto your forearms if that's feeling good. Good. Maybe you roll your head, your neck. Softening, you know, any tension in your jaw, in the eyes. Good. We'll rise on up onto the hands. So right hand walks a little bit wider. And then turning the chest open towards the left. Feel the doors of the heart open. Breathe. You might stay right here, or you might take hold of the back foot and kick into, into the hand. And kicking into the hand, feeling the heart 
slingshot open towards the sky. Big breath in. Really nice. Let it go. Big breath out. And then slowly, with care, releasing that foot. Good. Stepping on back, high plank pose. Take a full breath here. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in through the nose. And open your mouth. Let it go. Big breath out. Good, inhale, come high up onto the balls of the feet. Listen, exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward between your thumbs and empty of air, either walk, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, exhale, fold in Uttanasana. Breathing in, sweep up to the sky. Big breath, stretch up. And exhale, hands meet at your heart. Samastitihi. And equal standing. And just feeling your feet on the ground, both feet steady. Feel the feet almost, you know, lift the heart. Rolling the shoulders back and just tuning in here. Noticing the effects of your practice, two feet on the ground, almost what it's like to balance on two feet. Pressing the feet into the earth, inhale, reach up to the sky, fill the body up. And exhale, swan diving forward and down, let it all go. Inhale, breath, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Good, listen, now you're gonna lower the hips down. Reach forward, forward, forward. Hips lowered down. Really nice, and coming all the way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice little hug here. Rock out your spine. Just saying thank you to your amazing body. You might take these little rocks or you might start to take circles in your knees here. And just winding down. All right, bringing one hand to each knee. And we're gonna draw the knees out wide, flexing the toes, coming into almost this happy baby-like position. Just feeling the spine lengthen. And sending some breath there into the low back, into the kidneys. And you might stay right here or you might take the feet if that's calling you. Take the outer edges of the feet. Spread the toes and you know, you might rock your baby here a little bit side to side. Mm. Really nice. And when you're ready, releasing the feet, you're gonna take your right leg, wrap it all the way around the left to your arms out to the side. Shift your hips a little to the right. We're coming into a twist. So taking the knees over, over to the left, the knees go. I'm in my yoga zone. <laughs> and if it feels good on your neck, you know, you might gaze out towards the right. Feeling your right shoulder drop to the earth. And breathing, feel the top of your right hip. Just draw a little forward and away from you. Mm. Taking one more nice breath in. And all 
of the way out. Slowly unwinding. Unlacing your legs. Noticing what you notice. And when you're ready, taking your left leg, wrapping it over, teeing your left arm out. Maybe shifting your hips to the left as your knees drop right. Other side. Feeling your breath move through all the little layers and tissues of the body. Noticing the spaciousness that your breath brings. Feeling your left shoulder steady, rooted to the earth. These last few cycles, feeling the top of your left hip draw forward away from you. As if you were just rinsing the spine. One more inhale. And all the way out. And slowly, sweetly, unwinding, unlacing the legs. And draw your knees to your chest once more. And just gentle rocks. And when you're ready, extending your legs out long in front of you. And so we're coming into our final resting pose. Shavasana. So feeling the toes flop out towards the sides. Shift your shoulder blades a little bit under. Let your palms face open. And feeling the earth rising up to meet the bones here, to meet the body. We've done a lot of breathing, a lot of balancing here today. And this pose, just allowing everything to be just as it is in this moment. And receiving all of the benefits of your practice right here. Shavasana. Feeling your breath return, just like waves crashing on the shore. And feeling little ripples spread through your fingers, through your toes, reawakening. If it feels good, you can inhale, extend the arms up and overhead, take a nice Full body stretch. Mm, rolling gingerly to one side. And your way on up to a seated position. And just taking your time, moving slow. As you sit tall, 
Roll your shoulders down your back. Just noticing the effects of your practice here. Breathing in, we'll draw the hands to heart center. And taking a little bow, bowing into your heart. And thanking yourself for showing up here today. For taking a few risks a few leaps of faith, doing something maybe that was a little bit scary, and just honoring yourself right here, right now, giving thanks, namaste. Thank you everyone for practicing with us today here on Sit Off Flow. I hope you feel great and good job for taking those risks, those leaps of faith. Give yourself a little pat on the back. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Um, check out some more awesome yoga content on our website. And I will see you soon. Namaste.